In this problem, I'm asked to solve the equation graphically square root of 2x plus 1 minus 5 equals 0. What I'm going to do first is to add 5 to both sides. That way, the radical part of the equation is isolated. That's going to be my y1, and the 5 on the right-hand side is going to be my y2. So I'm going to put those into my calculator in the y equals list. So square root of 2x plus 1 and 5. Now when I graph, let's check the window. I've got a standard window here. I don't really see any reason to change it at this point. There's nothing about the problem that tells me that I need to change my window. So I'm going to graph and just be sure that I see the intersection in the window. And if I don't, then I can make adjustments. So I'm going to hit graph. So this equation here is the square root of 2x plus 1. This one here is 5, y equals 5. So I don't see the intersection in my window, but it's going to appear further off to the right, I need to go to my window and increase the size of x max. I'm going to make that 20. And then I'm going to hit graph again just to make sure that I can see the intersection. So there's the intersection. I'm going to use my second calc intersect process to find the intersection. So I'm going to press enter three times. And that should give me the order pair 12 comma 5. I can put that then on my graph and indicate the intersection, but remember that what I'm really trying to do here is to solve for x, so I need to identify my final solution as x equals 12. Now there is one thing that might happen to you when you're using the intersection method, and that is that if your cursor does not appear on your graphs anywhere. If it's off the screen and it, the calculator won't let you switch to second curve, that means your cursor's kind of stuck over here in no man's land and you're going to need to use your arrows until your cursor appears and then you can go through the intersect process.